I've been seeing a therapist lately for this voice inside of my head. And it's not my guilty conscience ragging me about all the rotten stuff I've done in my life, but it keeps dragging me back to circa 1967, 1969, Anoka, Minnesota. <laughs> the Halloween capital of the world. <laughs> Apparently gaining that appellation because of the enthusiasm for overturning outhouses and other Halloween hijinks in the 20s and 30s. <laughs> also notable for being the hometown of Garrison Keillor, creator of a prairie home companion and Lake Wobodon, where the women are strong and the men are good looking. <laughs> Anoka was a lovely little town of, <coughs> on the Mississippi River about 20 miles north of Minneapolis, and it was my oyster. I was a railroader's kid from the wrong side of the tracks, a just above average student with not many prospects, but I always seemed to gain a lot of notoriety. And when I went into high school wanting to distinguish myself as a scholar and an athlete, I usually wound up wearing a dunce's hat and being the class clown. I played a lot of nookie, I mean hooky. <laughs> and me and my big buddy Bear, we were always getting in trouble for cutting up. And, but it didn't keep me from being a class officer and homecoming royalty and dating the hottest girl on campus. And then there was my part-time job at the truck stop to support my 51 Chevy two-door hardtop with a three-speed on the floor and a radio that played the best music in the world. My bedroom on wheels. <laughs> what a lot of adventures I had in that thing. <laughs> but getting back to the therapist, <laughs> he said, it's only natural. Don't worry about it. It's just the kid inside. <laughs> Right in here. 